In this workshop, we're gonna build our own Purify Eigentakt Evel 1 power amplifier. We're gonna build the stereo version, so the Evel 1, which is quite odd. There's also an Evel 2, and that one is mono. We used the Purify Eigentakt Evel 1 board, the Ghent Audio casing, and of course the Hypex SMPS 1200 power supply. You need all of them. Well, you can use another case, but the Ghent Audio is quite, uh, well, yeah, it fits quite good. First, we need to uh, install the backplate. Then we're gonna install the power inlet or the IEC inlet. Uh, the biggest challenge is to find the right screws, honestly, because you don't need any soldering or, uh, yeah, uh, niche equipment to build this. The, Pi, the IEC inlet uh, fits quite tightly, so you need to use some force. Uh, as you can see here, we used quite a lot of force. And don't hesitate to use it, because otherwise you just don't get it in. Uh, Ghent Audio also delivers some custom cabling. Uh, these cables are a bit longer because the casing is quite large. And the stock cabling with the SMPS 1200 just doesn't fit. Now we need to install the grounding wire and please do this correctly because grounding is just a safety feature and if you don't install it correctly or tight enough then it could get loose and well stuff can happen. Um, we used uh, the right screw of course and you need it uh, need to put it on the, in the right spot. We just put our thumb on the bolt and then we screw it tightly in place as you can see right here if the ground wire is connected in the, in the right place and is tight enough we can go to the next step and that is to install the LED that lights up when the unit is powered or if there's anything wrong with it there are two screws that fit in the right way uh, these are quite small and the LED has uh, uh, three states 0, 1 and 2. 0 is off, 1 is medium and 2 is quite bright. Uh, we use the medium, well the 1, because the, the yeah well step 2 is quite bright and we didn't like it. And if you switch it off you can't see if it's powered on or anything so that's not very convenient. Now we need to bolt on some yeah, how do you call it? Mounting plates, I guess. Uh, these keep the front plate in place. And after that we can screw down the power supply, the SMPS 1200. Well, there's something you need to do. There's two jumpers on the board, jumper 6 and 7, and these are uh, out of the box. They are in regulated mode. You need to switch it to unregulated mode because the uh, Purify Eigentakt uh, module needs unregulated power because it regulates itself. So just sw uh, swip out, swap out the jumpers and then you're good to go. Screwing down or bolting down the SMPS 1200 isn't hard. Uh, there's only six screws that keep it in place and they screw in the bottom plate of the SMPS 1200. We guess that these um, bottom plates also supply some cooling uh, and of course the casing as well. Just now it's time to well wire the IEC input and uh, our version had a slightly different IEC input or power input so we needed to look up how it's wired correctly. It's not that hard. And there's only two uh, colors of wire, red and black. Um, so after some Google searches, we knew how to wire it correctly and uh, everything went well. Um, the clamps on the cables are quite tight. So you need, again, some force to get them on in the right way. And please pay attention to this because if one wire goes loose, you can get into trouble because 1200 watts is what the SMPS 1200 can deliver, 2 times 600. That's quite a lot. So be careful and just take your time to do it correctly. We uh, twist the wires a little bit 
you don't need to do this. And after we build it, we thought taping it is even better than just twisting it and uh, put it in place. Now, we did the feet with the black screws. That's wrong. You need the silver screws. So if you're going to build it, please pay attention. The feet need the silver screws. Now, some extra wiring. Again, no soldering is needed. Uh, this is for the LED in the front. It's the little wire and it's already twisted. Um, it can go in only in one way, so it's not that hard. Just plug it in and you're ready to go. Now, now the SMPS 1200 is in place and the IEC inlet is wired correctly, we can install the EVAL 1 board. You need to uh, pay attention to the uh, XLR inputs because they have a clip uh, and there's only one way to get it through the hole. That's a little bit tilted. The EVAL 1 board needs 8 screws to get it in place, firmly in place. Uh, and there's only one type of screw that actually fits. So find the right screws and you're ready to go. As you can see, we... Uh, didn't need any special equipment yet and we won't need it any further uh, you don't need a soldering iron or or anything it's it's actually quite easy to build it if you just pay attention to what you're doing um now this is the only part that is a little bit hard and that's the speak on connectors for the pro audio speaker connection um you don't need to wire these but we put them in because otherwise you have two uh, holes in the back that are not filled and it looks quite ugly now there these are bolted so there's a small bolt and a small um, how do you call it well some sort of screw I don't know the English word for that uh, but it's all very tiny and uh, we, we didn't have a lot of space to hold it and screw it down so you might need a uh, yeah some equipment to keep the bolt on the in the right spot we use the pocket knife, um, that works, but this is the only thing that was not really easy to do. Well, if this is hard, <laughs> then you know what the skill level is, is of building this. It's, it's really not that hard to build it. So, now we're going to power the EVAL 1 board. It's the uh, big, th thick black cable. And again, we twisted it, but maybe some tape is even better. Uh, and if you want to keep it nice and tidy inside, maybe some cable clamps or cable management is, uh, is nice to do. We just wanted to see if it works and how it sounds. But if you want to build it in, yeah, like 100% perfect, we would tape it and have some extra cable management in place. Then it looks even better from the inside. Now, there's only one cable left. And that's the one behind the black big connector for the EVIL 1 board. And then the whole EVIL 1 board is powered and ready to go. We need to uh, search a little bit, but it's over there. It's a small clamp. And if you're in a 150 volt area, uh, you need one extra jumper to put on the board. Don't do this if you're in a 230 country, because you will blow up your power supply. Now, as you can see, we had the wrong screws in the feet. Uh, we uh, missed some screws to put the top plate in place. Uh, these need the black big screws. There's only one way to get the top on in the right way. Uh, so that's also very easy. And now we can screw it down and put on the front plate and then it's ready to be powered on. Now this is the First Purify Eigentag DIY kit we could find online. The Ghent casing is pretty nice and looks very tidy. And as you can see, it's not that hard to build. Of course, we will put on a review and see how it sounds and let you know how it sounds. Uh, for that, we will compare it to some other Eigentag based power amplifiers and see if this is better or worse or comparable or anything. Thank you for watching and hope to see you soon.